Welcome to another exciting edition of the Million Dollar Peddlers. I'm Paper Guy. And I'm Mr. Magazine. Today we talk about some great things that you can find out there. Uh, a couple of the items that I've got coming up you actually will be able to find at some garage sales and flea markets. And a few of the items I have I can absolutely guarantee you you can find at flea markets. You know how I know that? No. Because I found it at a flea oh, market. No. There you go. <laughs> so... As usual, you bring the big noise, the things that we all hope we can find out there, and I bring the stuff that we're going to find out there. Uh, but you can still make money on the stuff that I find. Why don't you take it away, Mr. Magazine? Right. Uh, I, on the other hand, uh, have items that you probably won't find there unless you're really, really lucky, but hey, you never know. You <laughs> that could, is true. You could find this comic there. That is true, too. Uh, this was uh, from the Ohio Hall. Uh, oh, okay. A lot of good key issues that they were just stored at this guy's garage. And storage unit that were nothing 10 years ago and now they're expensive so here we go tomb of dracula number 10 first appearance of blade vg plus condition 551 bucks can't argue with that yeah, yeah was, that's uh, uh, we were first we we're going to put it on for 300 then we researched it and we we're going to put it on for 400 like i ah, just put it on for 500 and then got to 550 550 yep so yeah, I've actually sold uh, one of those in the past in really bad shape, and I think I picked up two seventy five on it. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a, a great book when you find it out yeah. there. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, next. This was still from my Winross uh, deal. Finally sold, three hundred six bucks. Uh, a Mac granite truck with dump, uh, dumped, uh, dumpster. Uh, right. By first gear. So yeah, three hundred bucks. Three hundred dollars. Wow. Took a while to sell, but I got you know a high price for it. No, oh, and, so, and that's the whole thing now. Yeah. And uh, at some point. Now, that would not uh, be one of the categories, but I will be doing a video shortly, or maybe we've done it already, I'm not sure if it's posted yet or not, about the changes in the eBay fee structure for people that are in managed payments. And that suddenly, uh, to give away a little bit of the video, that suddenly changes a lot of things with mm. the long tail. Because if all of a sudden you're not bleeding five cents a month, right. you can certainly afford long tail. Uh, not that a three hundred dollar item five cents a month is going to really matter, right. but it, it definitely does change things. It's a big game changer, and so be sure that you watch our video on that. All right. Next up, we have a official WWE Wrestling uh, Raw Tag Team Championship belt. I bought three belts from a local customer that comes in frequently and is always selling off collections of things that you know he gets bored of or whatever. But uh, two hundred sixty bucks you know, all day long. They sell for two to two fifty. If you see these anywhere, you know they're real heavy. They're the real deal. You know that they show off on television. Now I think we've talked in the past about these. You order them from? Yeah, you can only get them from their website. Yeah. Okay, okay. They got so, ex exclusive ones, limited ones, and they always sell out. That actually is the kind of thing you might be able to find at a garage sale or a flea market. Now, you're not going to be paying uh, $5 on it, right. but somebody might have that out for $100. Sure. And mm -hmm. at $100, it's probably worth picking up because if you can flip it for $260, you, yeah. you've made some money on it. And I think they sell from their site like between two and 300 so it depends on you know how fancy, if there's jewels and so forth. Yeah, so I could see somebody buying it for 200 and then selling it at a, you know, asking 150 at a garage sale for it, hoping to get rid of it. It, and then you offer them a hundred and they got two of them and they just uh, and then they have taken it on it sure yep all right next what we have here we have a oh another uh, truck that well this is more like a uh, uh what do you call it a bulldozer so uh, from the same deal this finally sold two you know and these last two pieces that we're talking about i've been getting offers for months you know a hundred dollars 150 100 you know and they seem appealing you know i didn't pay that much but still i held out and i got 300 for one and 250 for this yep. one so Yep, and, I, and we've done another video, another <clears throat> shameless plugging all the way through, where I talk about how you have to stand by your prices. If you've done the research on it, don't let people talk you down. Don't take a lot less than you should, uh, unless you have some specific reason why you want to do so. You know, obviously, if uh, an action number one walked in the door and you need $175 more to do the deal right now, you're taking $175 on it. Yeah, but beyond something or other outrageous like that, you held out, you got the $250. Not a big deal. It's a quality piece. It's sure. going to sell at some point. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right, next, uh, another Ohio Hall uh, key comic. Uh, this is a magazine Marvel preview. Uh, Satana, first appearance of Rocky Raccoon. This was a high-grade one. Um, my employee put it at VF. It might even have been nicer, and that's why it went for uh, 260 bucks. Large scan yeah. and all that sort of thing. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice piece, front and back, yeah real clean copy and it'll grade nine something i don't know how high i know i know some can go for a thousand dollars so 
You know, so the person's yeah. buying it and hoping they can get a high grade on it, and God yeah. bless them if they do. Hopefully they do, yeah. and hopefully they come back and buy more. Absolutely. And we do have a couple more up on eBay uh, lower grades, though. Mm-hmm. So next one, uh, Ohio Hall again. I like saying that. Uh, <laughs> this is part of his record collection, which had a lot of rare Beatles, Elvis uh, imports, and so forth, uh, heavy metal. Uh, this is a Beatles uh, Japanese import, 230 bucks. Now, now, the crazy thing, I'm looking at this, and I'm looking over at the things on the top of the screen with the stuff I have, and I don't know if everything I sold together adds up to <laughs> one of your sales. <laughs> Just different uh, ways yeah, of doing business. Yeah. It's been a couple of weeks. I was going to put you know a bunch of items up there, but you know we'll stop shortly. Oh, thank you. All right, uh, this one just sold. Um, this is another local customer. He likes to buy, sell, and trade dolls, you know, uh, superhero dolls, and he gets bored of them and so forth. But this is uh, Arkham Batman, the 1-6 Hot Toys, you know, about 12-inch piece, and the... Uh, and this was missing, I think, yeah, missing an extra face, it said. So I do have another one up for auction that goes for 300 because it's complete. But this one went for two. Right. Wow. So. <laughs> All right, next. Uh, you might be able to find this at a garage sale if you know what you're looking for. Um, this was Ohio oh. Hall again. Uh, I like saying that again and again. Anyhow, uh, Rolling Stone, George Burns, Dr. Hook, uh, 200 bucks. You know, it's an early issue from 1973, but... Uh, and we knew it was 100, 150, maybe because maybe these don't come in that nice condition. This particular right. issue, I don't know, it looked pretty clean, but uh, we, I think we left it at VG. So, yeah, you can find uh, occasionally you can find big piles of the of the old Rolling Stones. Yeah. Uh, those were more newsprint back in the day, as mm-hmm. opposed to glossy magazine, or they were newsprint back in the day. Right. And the condition on those often is very, very bad because it was cheap newsprint. It ripped mm-hmm. very easily. Uh, you find them misfolded all the time. Right, right. A lot of issues with those potentially. So just letting you know when you do see them, you usually you don't find one. You find a pile of them because right. somebody had a subscription to them and they sure. saved 20, 25 of them. Yep. But certainly if this one is in there, it's worth buying. Yeah. Well, you're up, you're up, you're <laughs> oh, you're up. oh boy. Um, actually, the first one we have here, I picked it up from a, uh, a local dealer. He sold me a whole bunch, wholesale a whole bunch of stuff out to me. And the only reason I put it off was, I mean, it went for decent money as far as what it is. It went for $30, but the cover on it is just cool, awesome. Cool cover. It's got a you know, Frankenstein monster on it. Um, and the funny thing about it is that cool cover didn't even get mentioned because it was such a loaded issue. Charles yeah. Lindbergh. Um, Martians are in it. Marx Brothers are in it. Walt Disney's wow, in it. Nice. I mean, it's just a loaded issue of stuff. Um, I looked on Terra Peak before I listed it, and it, a lot of people weren't listing it very well. So I listed a little bit higher price. I ended up getting a higher price hmm. because I took the time and put multiple pictures and all that kind of things up. But it's just, it's just a really cool cover. One that I think most of you, when you're out buying, if you saw a cover like that, Obviously, jump on it. The cover oh, yeah. itself could sell it. Uh, you probably could sell just the cover. Sure. Uh, just because that is yeah. neat enough uh, item. This next one over here is just kind of interesting. I, I don't know really what it is. <laughs> um, I mean, it's a little brochure. I got $21.50, put it up for auction, got a couple of bids on it, uh, picked it up in a box lot of stuff from a, a different dealer. Um, real happy to have gotten it out of there. No date on it, just kind of guessing from the way it looked. It was around, mm-hmm. you know, around 1910s. Yeah. Um, kind of thing that's just kind of a throw-in sometime on a lot. You may see this out there. You may be able to pick something other up like this real, real cheap. Um, if you can pick up $21 out of it, mm-hmm. can't really argue can't with that. Day, no, no. Not, for a, not for a little booklet. Uh, next thing we have over here, these you will find regularly. Um, I was actually, I took an offer of 15 on it. The guy made me an offer on this, and he made me an offer in the 2004, 2005 wow, one. it's like new. <laughs> yeah, basically, wow. yeah. So I got $30 for two of them. I just picked them up in an estate sale a week ago. I think I paid 25 cents for the pair. Um, they were giving stuff away at the estate sale. But this is the kind of thing a lot of people just walk by. Everybody knows that craftsman stuff from the 1940s is good. Buy the stuff from the 40s. You can make money on the stuff from the 2000s. Find your niche and you can make money. I think I've thrown those out, believe it or not. That's type, you know, it's, it's newer and it's going to just take a back seat, but yeah, I, I won't throw them out anymore. Actually, I didn't <laughs> pay 25 cents at a market. I went through your garbage. Uh, hey. so <laughs> pretty, good, pretty good business good for you. model. <laughs> Next thing, this is another one that uh, I listed on here. This magazine does sell, but it's got, this one here ha- happens to have a very, very cool cover on it. It's just an all-American kind of look and cover over Soldier of Fortune, Green Berets, uh, Da Nang. Uh, 
went for the twenty-one dollars on it. Nice. And again, it's got the nice color scheme on it. Very American-looking cover. Yeah. Another one that just it just jumps off when you see it. And so I guess what I'm saying is a lot of times when you're at a sale, if it's something or other that you've never dealt in before, but it just has a very, very nice cover on it, pick it up. Mm-hmm. I think I paid a dollar for this out at a sale because, again, Ooh. it jumped out at me. Right. And, you know, I listed it, and it, I listed it this year, as a matter of fact. So it isn't even like it's a long tail item by any means whatsoever. Um, cool covers do sell items. I mean, that's what it really all comes down to. Uh, next thing we have over here. This is something or other than $20, picked it up at an estate sale. Hmm. Fairly new, um, actually is colored, not in the best of shape, but got $20 out of it. Wow. A lot of that Hanna-Barbera uh, stuff does sell. <clears throat> there are collectors out there for it. I think this probably sold for one reason, one reason alone. And I think that's because a lot of people wouldn't bother listing something or other like this oh, because my. it just looks to be, ugh. Right. Um, but... Having listed it, somebody didn't have it in their in their collection, and they probably never seen it before. And okay. for them, it was it was a good deal. So I'm quite happy with it as well. Uh, a few more things over here. Uh, this one this one is actually funny. It took a long time to sell. I had two of them. I relisted it, added a little bit to the listing. Um, what can you really say about it? This literally is when you went on the Ohio Turnpike. Uh-huh. You got your ticket. Yeah. This was the ticket that they gave you out hmm. in 1966 when you were driving the Ohio Turnpike. Somebody apparently knew a shortcut to get off of there, and <laughs> the Ohio Tur- Turnpike's looking for him because he owes 38 cents in tolls. Yeah. But this is something that literally, in 1966, was given away free. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And I ended up getting $13 out of it. So I was pretty happy with that. And again, I had two of them. I don't know mm-hmm. where the person got it from. I don't. I no idea whatsoever, hmm. but... It's kind of the neat little thing, 99.9% of sellers out there, what would they do with this? Nothing. <laughs> or throw it away. Yeah. Throw it away or nothing. I put it up, and again, somebody wanted it, whether they collect Ohio Turnpike, maybe their mom worked as a toll booth operator back then. Yeah. Who knows? I have no idea at all why they wanted it, but they did, and God bless them. I hope they're happy. Um, now, this is something rather that you will find out there very easily. Uh, eight Dr. Seuss, Seuss beginner books, Random House. These are 1970s, 1980s. You see these things out there all the time. Um, went for a couple of dollars a piece in a lot. They were from another dealer as a throw-in on a deal. Just the kind of thing that you will find regularly. And again, you will not pay anything close to $20 from a garage right. sale. You probably will, you know, hey, how much for the kids' books? What if I take them all kind of deal? You'll pay 25 cents each for them in a big lot. Um, do list them. They do sell. Um, they're probably still in print, as a matter of fact. Oh, yeah. Sure they are. And then the last thing, this is pretty neat. I know you deal in magazines. Did you know that Sick Magazine was put out by Charlton at the end of its run? That I did not know. This is 1980. I was unaware that they did 132 issues hmm, of that. Wow. And this isn't even the last issue. They probably, I think they did another year or two's worth. Hmm. Uh, picked it up at a sale for almost nothing. I had just never seen it before. Um it's a neat little cover. There are actually people out there that collect Charlton as well. Do you remember Charlton Comics? Yep, sure. Uh, always the worst comics. They didn't pay their artists and the writers anything. But a lot of the artists and the writers liked to be there because it was study work. And the advantage of them not getting paid anything, Charlton didn't really care what they did. Yeah. They just basically said, write an eight-page issue or eight page story. <laughs> and whatever they wrote... It got published. They didn't much care. Crazy. Um, terrible printing. Uh, you'll be hard pressed to find them in hard in uh, higher grades. Anything Charlton. It's just a low end comic publisher. Um, took over and did this uh, magazine as well. It originally put out by somebody, some other company, and they bought it out and they put this up. Just one of those things. Again, we've been doing it a long time. You've never seen a sick magazine that no. high numbered. I'd never no. seen one that high numbered, and it. It sold, so and I think I paid fifty cents for it. So can't argue with that. Um, now there's a bunch of these in the Ohio Hall. Sick magazines? There are. Yeah, I'm, well, hold, I'm holding out right now. We're doing Madge, then we're gonna do Cracked, and then Sick. But well, let me sell we're, off we're my one, and yep. now now that I'm out of the way. You got but it. something other to think about, though. Um, you may want to list some of the higher numbers right up on eBay. Yeah. Um, you know, and what can you possibly say about it? Wasn't a lot to say about it. Cher was in it. Ben, uh, Benson, remember the TV show Benson? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jack Sparling <clears throat> did the cover. 
which is why I listed his name. Not a lot you can say about it, but now you got your pricing point at it. Yeah. You can price them at $25 wow. and, you know, yeah. hopefully they do sell for you. Cool. So hopefully you've, you've gotten some good ideas off of this video, some stuff that you definitely will find out there, some stuff that you hope to find out there. And uh, we will see you next video. All right, take it easy. Thank you. Bye-bye.